what's up? It's Olivia. Welcome back to my channel, Olivia Swim Vlogs, where I like to share my experience moving to Minot, North Dakota. In today's video, I'm going to show you some of the products that I have bought so far to help me get through winter. As a disclaimer, this is my sixth time experiencing winter. The last five years I was in Pennsylvania, but this is my first North Dakota winter, and if you didn't know, I'm from California, so literally didn't own anything thicker than a sweatshirt. <laughs> until I moved to Pennsylvania and I was, you know, 21 years old. It is mid-November and we're actually about to have a warm week where it's gonna be like in the 50s, but two weeks ago for Halloween it was negative 10. So, we have been experiencing the gamut so far. All right, so first let's talk about gloves. So I bought these gloves off of Amazon. They are both men's and women's gloves. So it was like a men's extra small and a woman's small. They are too big for me, like the fingers are quite uh, long, but honestly, that's been fine. Someone made a comment to me that these do not look very thick, but they've been fine in the negative 10 degree weather. There is a poodle on my lap if you were like, what is that? But I wear these when I am walking the dog, which is like at most 10 minutes because we do not like the super ice cold. She's fine in snow, she's fine in cold, but it was, when it was negative 10, it was like, okay, let's, let's hurry this business up. And then I also walk around campus, which is like max a four minute walk. Um, but yes, so even though they're a little bit long for me, these have been really great gloves. I next wanna show this uh, thermal shirt I've gotten. So it's like, I'd call like sports material on the outside, but then on the inside, it is actually like fleece. I'm not sure if you can tell here that it is fleece and then not fleece. Anyway, so these are called thermal compression shirts. I didn't realize they were compression. I got a set of two for $27. Um, you might, I don't know if you can tell, they are quite form fitting. Sorry, gosh, that white balance. Anyway, they're very form fitting. I got a small, which I don't know, women's sizing kind of sucks. So I wear small, medium, and larges depending on the brand and the shirt. Um, but it's very tight fitting. So I would wear this like running errands or in my house, I would not wear it to teach in because I don't find that appropriate. Um, I did wear it though one day to school, but I had a Halloween t-shirt over it. So it was fine to layer for that purpose. But yeah, so far I've really liked it. It has helped cut the chill, especially if I'm just like in my apartment. Even though I keep my apartment at 70 or 71 degrees all of the time, for whatever reason, it is chilly in here when it's cold outside, even though I hear the heater like going. So yeah, having these like thermal um, fleece layered tops have been really nice. Another top I got, I got a large, well, I mean, it's a, it's an oversized jacket, um, big ol' hood, which is nice, big ol' pockets as well. And again, this has been nice for just like being around the house and just like cutting the chill. Um, even though I have a blanket on, I still need this on. So this is a size medium, but it is oversized. I will say the zipper is like super cheap. So I mean, I will leave the link to it down below, but if you can find a better brand, it would be worth paying a few extra dollars. Cause again, it's like a struggle getting the zipper up every single time, but I'm glad that I got an oversized jacket. And also I wanna make it clear, this is not my winter coat. This is not thick enough for going outside, but it's good for inside. Before we talk about coats, I wanna talk about pants. So first I wanna talk about pants that are a good outer layer. Um, well, yeah. So these are from American Eagle. I believe they're called the stretch cargo pants. Um, they are straight legged. And what's nice is there is enough room in the leg to where I can wear leggings or tights underneath and there's still room. Whereas when I wear my jeans, even if they're the flare jeans um, or skinny cut, there's not room underneath for leggings. With these there are. I also have a pair in black and a pair in khaki. What I like is they're, it's like stretchy on the side. Um, also, I'm really glad that I read the reviews because you need to order a size down in these. I know you might be like, well, my jeans from American Eagle are size X and they fit perfectly. No, you wanna go down a size in these. 
My only complaint about these cargo pants are that uh, they don't come in a bunch of short sizes. They have the short, but they don't have extra short or extra extra short. So I do have to flip them up an inch. The other pants I wanna talk about, I'm actually wearing right now. Um, they are any Bauer pants. Specifically, they are the women's 2.0 polar fleece lined pull on pants for $54 at Eddie Bauer. What I like about them is on the outside, it is a rain resistant slash wind resistant layer. And then on the inside is fleece. These have been really nice for walking the dog. Cause typically what I'll do is I'll like, whether I'm wearing sweatpants or like pajama pants in the morning, I will put another layer of sweatpants over to go walk outside. Then it's really annoying if there's snow and then my pants get wet. Um, but at least the two layers typically helps with the wind. But with these, I get to wear just one layer and then since it's water resistant, I'm not getting all soaking wet from the snow. So these are like my new favorite pants. I don't think I will teach in them um, because I just, I don't, I don't know if that they're too like casual um, for that, but anything else I have to do this winter, I am wearing these. The snow boots that I already have and had had for, again, this is my sixth winter, um, JBU brand. I got these at Macy's. Um, unfortunately, I need to get like super glue or something because the back is like completely coming off. Um, but I am going to get another pair of snow boots. I want a tall pair um, because sometimes we just get like dumped on here. And so I want a tall pair for when I'm like walking the dog and stuff. I'm thinking LL Bean for my next pair. What brand do you guys recommend for that? Separate, I needed another pair of just like bear paws. <laughs> um, have not taken the tag off because I am waiting to get my suede like spray, like waterproof spray and Target was out so I had to order it on Amazon today. Um, but I'm so excited to have these shoes again. These are gonna be good for like, you know, this week when it's 50 degrees and there's no snow on the ground, but I don't wanna like put on sneakers to take the dog out, so. Bear paws, I'm happy. Before we talk about coats, I also wanna show you my thermos that I've been taking with me every single day. So the other thermos that I have is Cork Circle and it's from Disney. And it was honestly getting just really hard to wash. I never felt like it was clean and I was also worried about um, the lid never being on quite right. So I finally found this brand, SLM, Slim, I don't know. Um, and so it's a screw top lid. And then this folds down and closes so I know it's not gonna open up when I'm like walking on campus um, or driving. And then they also have a lid for like to put your straw in if you wanna have like iced coffee or ice drinks in here. This is the 16 ounce because the most I make is 16 ounces and I can't even drink the whole thing in a day, but it keeps my beverages warm, which is really nice. Um, and I'm going to, I, I wanna get two more since I do have to work five days a week. It's, a lot having to wash this every single night um, but I really like the brand and I'm definitely willing to buy it again so I think I want to get the mint color and the white color this does say that it's dishwasher safe I have not put it in the dishwasher yet just because it is like metal on the inside I don't know I don't know why that weirds me out to put it in even though like forks and stuff are metal but yeah have not tried that yet but supposedly it is dishwasher safe okay now to talk about coats I'm so sad because what I want and have been unsuccessful with so far is I want a really long coat. Like I'm talking goes my ankles, basically looks like you're in a sleeping bag. Now I thought I had found that with Eddie Bauer. They were having a wonderful like 50% off sale. So I got this $300 coat for $150. It's supposed to be long and so I even, instead of getting the petite version because the brand has petite, um, I got the regular size because I didn't want it to hit, you know, like just past my knee. I want it to go down to practically my ankles. So I got the regular size. Instead of getting a small, I got a medium because I wanted to be able to wear sweaters under it. And again, I wanted it to be long. And it came and unfortunately it's just it's just really thin. I think it'd be fine if like the coldest you're gonna experience is 30 degrees, but it's not good for less than that. In addition to being thin, it wasn't as long as I was expecting. I also feel like somehow wind was like coming up into it. I don't know, but I'm, I have, I have it right here cause I need to go return it um, to the post office. 
it was also kind of tight like I couldn't wear a sweatshirt or like a thick sweater under it like my thin little you know compression shirt was fine under it but anything thicker wasn't so I was just really disappointed with that coat so the main coat that I wear that I have had again going on winter number six is a Tommy Hilfiger coat from um, Macy's this one goes like a little bit past my butt so I mean that's fine for now, especially now that I have fleece lined pants and have other pants that are big enough to where I can fit leggings under them. Like I guess I don't need that extra layer, um, you know, going down to my legs. I can live without it. But yeah, this one is a size medium and I do feel like I can wear a big sweater or a sweatshirt underneath it. And it's thick enough so that this is, you know, what I wore when it was negative 10 after trying this other coat and being like, oh my god, I'm so cold out here. Um, so yeah, this is for when it's like in the 30s or lower. I have another coat from Macy's that just goes to like my hips, my waist, my hips. Um, and that's for when it's like in the 40s. And then I have another coat from H&M that's for like 30s to 40s. So if you have any suggestions for a really long coat that's like not too expensive but thick enough, please let me know because there was one that I was... Uh, someone told me about they're like this is my favorite coat you know it's fantastic it was nine hundred dollars i i cannot fathom spending that much on a coat like maybe if i knew i was gonna be here for 20 years i would pay for that but i don't know how long i'm gonna be here that's a lot of money i saw one at rei that was like six hundred dollars that still feels so excessive for a coat when i think my one for macy's I feel like that was maybe a $200 coat. All I need is that, just longer. I was expecting to spend like $300, $350 on a coat, spending two to three times that much. That's that's a lot. Hopefully I really like most of the products that I've gotten so far. I'm probably gonna get some more of these Eddie Bauer pants, um, just because, again, I do love them. They're really great for when it's windy outside and I have to take the dog out, or keeps me warm just inside, especially if it's chilly outside, then I don't have to wear two layers of sweatpants even though I'm inside. Alrighty, that is today's video. I am gonna put links to all of the products down below. If it's an affiliate link, which means if you click on it and buy something from the website, I make money, I will put a little asterisk next to it. Also, if you have product recommendations for me or specific brands that you find really trustworthy, please put that down in the comments below. Again, I'm thinking L.L. Bean for like the tall boots. I don't know, I was on their website the other day and I saw they had tall boots, so that's what I was leaning towards. For other tall boots or like a different brand though that you recommend, please let me know. And then a big one, if you know of like a long coat that's like thick, please let me know that as well. Alrighty, I hope y'all are staying warm wherever you are. I hope you have a happy Veterans Day. I hope my dog's chewing on her new bone has not been too distracting. Um, <laughs> hope you guys have a wonderful day. Keep dreaming out loud. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.